let's start. The project name is Runtime Permissions. Let's see the project structure. Here we have the main activity and a permission manager class. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have two buttons, ask permissions and check permissions. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. This is the ask permissions button. And this is the check permissions button. Let's see the Java code now. These are the imports. This is the permission manager class. This class handles the runtime permissions. Here we have implemented the singleton object creation pattern so that only one instance of this class would be created throughout the app life cycle. The check permissions method checks if all the asked permissions are granted by the user or not. The ask permissions method asks the required permissions to the user. The handle permission result handles what to do when the user has granted or denied the permissions. When the permission is denied we show a permission rationale to the user. In the show permission rationale method, we ask the user to grant the permission which he had denied earlier. We show an alert dialog as a rationale. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members of the class. We are going to ask the user to grant camera and location permissions. In the onCreate function, when the ask permissions button is clicked, First we check if the permissions have already been granted or not. If any permission is not granted, we ask the user to grant that permission. When the check permissions button is clicked, we call the check permissions function from the permission manager class that checks if the permissions have already been granted or not. In the on request permission result function, we handle the permission results using the permission manager class. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement the runtime permissions in Java Android. Thanks for watching.